My name is Teddy Kent. I am a principal nuclear engineer uh, working here at the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory. And I work at the Mechanisms Engineering Test Loop, we call it METAL, uh, which is a intermediate scale sodium test facility aimed at developing technology for sodium fast reactors. So my current project is focusing on uh, the fuel handling uh, machine that goes inside a sodium cooled fast reactor. Um, so sodium cooled fast reactors, SFRs, are different than traditional light water reactors in that they use a different coolant uh, at a very high level. So instead of using water as a coolant, we use liquid sodium. My research focus at METAL is fuel handling technology. The test article that we're presenting here today is the gripper test assembly. The gripper test assembly is the gripper head, the component of the fuel handling machine that will go down towards the core, attach on the top of a core component or the fuel assembly, and then pick it out of the core to either move it to another location, to send it out of the core for storage or reprocessing, and then install a new core component or fuel assembly. So it is the head that attaches to the top of the fuel assembly. What we are trying to demonstrate in this test article is the various mechanical components that go into driving this mechanism uh, while testing them submerged in high temperature liquid sodium as they would be in an SFR uh, and testing them under prototypic loads. So full scale loading that would be experienced during fuel handling uh, maneuvers. And the gripper head has three main functions. So there is a gripper post that will insert into the core component and this is driven axially along a column. There is a rotation feature so that when the fuel assembly or core component is attached to the head, it can be rotated in any amount of degrees, up to 360 degrees. Uh, and then there is the jaw actuation, which is a, uh, the mechanism used to attach the gripper post to the fuel assembly. So there are jaws that protrude out from the gripper post and lock onto the fuel assembly so it can be pulled out of the core while still attached to the gripper head. Additionally, we need to simulate the load that would be experienced inside the core when attached to a fuel assembly. So we have a core socket attached to a fourth function where we can program different loading uh, that would be experienced in different situations during the refueling procedure. Yeah, so once we move the gripper test assembly into metal and begin the experimental operations, what we will be accomplishing is demonstrating the use of these mechanical components, gears, bearings, etc., uh, which are made of exotic materials that we've selected and we'll be able to better understand their lifetime. The impact of our research at METAL is to help further development of advanced nuclear reactors. And this is important to give industry more options when selecting nuclear energy and that it is a carbon neutral energy source. And this is important to meet our climate goals uh, moving forward in this country. And so instead of having the historic traditional uh, types of reactors, we'll have a wide array of reactor varieties that an industry person can select um, for a specific need.